And what we want to achieve is to achieve this result. And at the end of the result, they'll be able to show teacher's comment, a teacher's comment, and make these two dynamic. At the same time, to be able to do this character development, practical skills. But let's leave this character development and practical skills for a while. Let's focus on this teacher's comment and a teacher's comment. So talking about the teacher's comment and the a teacher's comment, I like that you'd log in as a student for a start. So I'm going to go log in as a student. Um, so I've logged in as a student somewhere. So I'm logged in as a student here. Now, when you're logged in as a student, go to the terminal report. This is what we want the student to be seeing, this report. So a student will be able to go to this report and can see the terminal report, progress card report, or the student session report. But this is going to be exclusively for that student. But let's still leave that for now. Now, when you go to the terminal report, it shows this. Now, if you look here, it has the result of the student. And if you see below, it has from teacher's remark, house teacher's remark. But we want our own to be teacher's remark, then a teacher's remark. But now, talking about the teacher's remark and a teacher's remark, if you look at this code in your, in the, if you look at the code, you'll notice that this part of it is static. That means it's not calling any data. So we want this teacher's remark chain, but we want it to be calling data from a database. If this could be calling from a database, then these two could call from a database. So that's what I want us to achieve, that it will call from a database. Progress card report to should call from a, this teacher's remark um, a teacher's remark should call from a database. So that's the idea. Those are the three report cards that are showing the student. And it must show that these remarks are calling from the database. So I took a look through the result. This is the result. This is what it looks like. So this is the place that we should be able to add the result. But let me log in as a teacher. So here, I'm logged in as a teacher. So if you click here as a teacher, I now click on Add result. Okay, let, let's just do that. Add a result. So if I add a result, it opens that tab. And in the tab, the teacher can now choose the class, primary one, the exam first term, the section, red. So always work with primary one and red. Now you can choose any subject. So let's choose mathematics, then prepare result. So this is how you add the result for each of the students. And if you add the result for each of the students this way, in that same way, that's how I want us to be able to add the remark. So like this is the result now. So you can actually change the result of a student here or add new one. And at the end of the day, you add remark. So you can see we already added. So, but let me just change this for the demo student to 47 and this to 32. Sorry. Oh, okay. It can't be more than 30. So to 20. So now basically after doing this, after doing this, you'll now notice that we can add mark. So this same way that we, we can add mark here, this same way we can add mark here, that's the same way I want us to add the comment. So this is what I'm looking at you guys doing. That this result part, all you need to do is duplicate this page. So exactly what these guys did to achieve this result, that displays the student's name, role, and detail. You do exactly the same thing. But it's just that instead of primary exam or something here, it will be teacher's remark. Um, yes, teacher's remark, then a teacher's remark. So, but that means there won't be opportunity for this subject. So, once it's showing the remark for teacher, the remark for a teacher, one can now put those remarks here. And once you put the remarks here, it saves it. Now, this doesn't have to be exactly the same database that calls this grade. You can go to the um, you can go to the 
database. Um, I think the database is somewhere here. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is not it. This is peg point. I'll tell you about peg point later, but let's focus on this. So success schools. So, so, so let's click on this. Okay, good. So I'll now go to the PHP admin. Was it my okay? So let's go to the PHP. Well, okay, so that's not me for now. Okay, let me. I'll work on the I'll show you the database part of it, but I want to believe that you can understand it. So, the, the main thing here is that duplicate this result the same way we have this results page. Just, just create a remark link, have a remark page, and let the remark page replicate everything on this result. It's called the primary, it's called the exam, it's called the section, but it's not called the subject. And here now, it can now be teacher's remark, a teacher's remark. So all what somebody needs to do is enter the remark from the head teacher or enter the remark from from the so once you enter the two remark at the end of the day you can now say add remark so once you add remark you should now you should now be able to save it it goes into the database and you're now able to call the database into this student's report so that the head teacher's remark the teacher's remark everything shows in this report now if we can achieve this for the teacher's remark the same way we can achieve it, we'll be able to replicate it for character development and for practical skills. All we need to do is create another page. So we'll now have um, below here, we'll now have results, remark, and we'll now have a third one, which will be psychometry test. So now the psychometry test, just the same way. You call the primary one, you call the first term, you call the red. You can now say which of the psychometry tests you are calling here. So it could either be the first one, which is character development or the practical skills. So what it shows the character development or the practical skills. Here now, it calls the student's name. And you can now have each of the character development display. So we can now have attendance in class honesty and everything now instead of us doing dot 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 we don't have to make our own dot 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 we can just do attendance in class a honesty a all this a so this one to fluency andrighty b laboratory work d so it can now be letters directly instead of us instead of us putting dot we just put all this creativity dexterity and put the alphabet a a c d if that's what will work for us. But if we can do this dot, why not? Let's do the dot. But if not, let's just put alphabet. As far as it's just, the idea is for you to be able to, so you can now put the name of the student row. I can now have each of those things here. So if you choose here, if you choose uh, the first one, which is, Character development. So under once you choose character development here, under here it will now show you attendance in class, promptness, three. So you can have, now have those four things, and all we have to put here is A or B or C or D thereabout. So basically, this is what I'm looking at. I hope this makes sense. Please kindly let me know what you think, and let's get if we can work with this. Thank you.